Okay, can you guys see my screen? If you can see my screen, drop a one one on the chat. If you can see my screen, drop a one one on the chat. All right, let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, fans. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> All right, so um, from the very first day, we've been talking about the basics, simply market structure and um, change of characters, right? Yesterday, we discussed the basic strategy to profit from synthetic indices, and we did a little back test, and we saw how price actually played out, all right? So today, um, we're moving to the basic strategy to profit from the forex market that is those that the guys that trade currencies and stuff like that okay but before 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 then um myself i basically trade just um gpusd and um usd card alongside the um indices there's us 30 us 500 and um us 100 Okay, but on currencies, I basically trade um, GPUSD, all right? So whatever strategy I'm sharing currently, I have actually backtested it on GPUSD and um, USD card. I trade basically GPUSD like 90%, USD card 10%, all right? So, so today, we'll be looking at... Um, the basic strategy to profit from the forex market so after today probably you might actually take this strategy and also back test it on your own um your own asset that you trade okay if you trade the gp GP, uh, gpy if you trade um aud card or stuff like that if you're the card for that's for the card guys or for the euro guys or those guys that trade just the dxy all right so <clears throat> today we'll be looking at um the first thing we look at today is psychological levels and um, change of character or break of market structure. All right. So first of all, we'll be looking at what psychological levels, psychology That's from the word, word, from the word psychology, levels, psychology Have levels. Start. So, sorry. Have you started recording? Recording, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah yes, fam, yes, fam. Okay, thank you. So, from the word psychology and levels, who can tell me what you understand by the word psychological level? A psychological level. Is it when they say a level is psychological? I need somebody to tell me. You can unmute yourself and speak. Speak up. You can unmute yourself and speak up, fam. Somebody should tell me what they understand by psychological levels. Good evening, coach. Evening, fam. Yeah, I think um, psychological levels are levels where the the institutions will actually take their buys from or their sales from, which might be um, 1.300, 1.350, 1.400. One point five fifty. So it's having this kind of um, significant number. Yeah, it's always have this kind of significant number where those big institutions will actually come to play their game or actually retrace from. Hmm. I love that. Thank you, fam. Thank you. I love that. I need another another um, definition to that. This time around, I I need um, a female. I need a female. I need a female this time around. Mm -hmm. If you are trying to talk, you can actually type on the chat box. Okay. Okay, Mister Mister Kenneth, you are up. Um. Good evening, everyone. Yeah, evening, fam. I think um, psychological levels are levels where markets may likely reverse to the upside or 
or the downside. As... Mm. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good also from Mr. Kenny. Thank you, fam. Okay, I need the last I need one last person now. Um, the ladies. Okay, Mr. Samson. All right. Um, psychological levels or numbers are round up numbers that um round up numbers um, have a high high probability that markets would react whenever it gets to that point. As basic as I love that I love that definition. Very very basic. That's nice, fam. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, fam. So can you guys still hear me? Of course, you can hear. You can hear me. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So um, I love the definitions. The very first person said there are actually um, regions where the banks, okay, or where the institutions are looking to take their trades from, right? And he gave example of such numbers, okay. And the second person also um, gave a similar definition. Right, and um, the last person said they are roundup numbers. All right, so um, the definitions are very, very correct. Psychological levels are those roundup numbers on your charts. They are actually key levels. Some some persons actually call them bank levels, bank levels. Some said institution levels, just like that. But they are all saying the same thing. So there are those levels. There are those levels where um, there are those key levels where price or those, those, those institutions or the banks are looking to what either take their entries or probably um, get a reversal, okay? And those regions are always what? They are round-up numbers, round-up numbers. Like having 1.20000 or 1.2500, stuff like that. So there are those levels, those key levels, that word key, key levels, where price may what? Give you reactions or what? Or reversals, Okay. So if you get if you got the definition, let's drop a two to two on the chart. If you're okay with definition, let's drop a two to two on the chart. Two to two, let's let's go. Let's go, let's go. So let's go, let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, fam. So um now that's that for psychological levels and um now, change of character, just like we've mentioned the last time we, from the second day of the bootcamp, we already explained change of character and also market break of structure, all right? So now, this since we are taking having these things basic, like we don't want to hear things like liquidity sweep, we don't want to hear things like um, dynamic liquidity or stuff like that. We know those, those stuff exist, and, um, but they are actually based on very basic, basic ways of training these bad boys without having to do do with all those um bb grammars and stuff like that okay so now there is an um it's a psychological level in, because uh, if you want to mark out your psychological levels manually right for example i would want to mark all my psychological levels on my gbp usd chart okay so let, let's take let's take these guys out let's take these guys out okay Let's take these guys out. So, for example, if I want to mark out my psychological levels on all these um, charts here, I'll start by doing this. Maybe picking this front array, placing it on 1.2, right? 1.2000. Okay. The next one, I want to put it at what? 1.19500, right? 1.19500. Let's go. Okay, 1.19500. Okay, just like that, marking it manually. So, but there are actually, there are actually ways which you can do this because if you try to backtest your charts, you see that those key reversals, those key reactions actually happens at these areas. Okay, they happen at these areas, these psychological regions. Probably we might get an undershoot or an overshoot, but those reversals tend to happen or those reactions, those market reactions, tends to happen 
at this radius at these key levels all right so now this, this is what we do this is this is the basic and simple strategy that that we use for the forex market all right psychological levels and what change of market character at those psychological levels because um you see some people might actually trade psychological levels in isolation okay i know that these psychological levels are regions where i can get reactions from okay when price gets there some persons might just place entries blindly not even having not even getting that range or those regions where you might want to put your stop loss all right or put in your or take profit so but we as smart traders at those psychological levels we can actually wait for what change of what market character at those regions okay so now there's one easy way instead of um, marking out all the psychological levels manually there's an indicator okay which we can actually use quickly to mark out all these levels for us so when you go to indicators you type psychological levels okay psychological levels now this one this this one psychological levels redefined with lucky nick vika this nick Va, okay this nick Appella, i actually love his um the indicator because it simply gives you please don't confuse this with um those indicators that moving average or stuff like that no 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 this this is just marking out helping you to mark out those psychological levels those regions all right automatically automatically all right automatically so you can see farms you see all those levels are already marked look at look at this region here 1.19 thousand right already marked look at this guy region here also 1.18 thousand already marked for you because region also 1.17 thousand already marked for you asking so you don't have to start doing all these things manually so you can see the level i marked the last time you can see the price they are also what marked it out for you so it's just um an indicator to mark out what your psychological levels as easy as that okay so these are just levels where you what you want to take you want to watch out so when when price gets to this level when price gets to these levels what you want to do is look out for what a nice market what change that market break of structure at these levels okay so when price comes to this region all right gives you that nice break of structure what you want to do is what you place you take entries from those regions with what a very nice and is and quick um stop loss and nice take profit all right so you can actually take this and what back test those regions where price where you have those psychological levels and how price have played at those regions all right so now in fact currently we can see that um, price is giving us something nice around that psychological level. You can see price is giving us something nice around those psychological levels, okay? Because this is 1.2000 as a psychological level. Now, price got to that region and it's giving us, it's already giving me a market BOS at that psychological level, okay? It's already giving me that nice BOS at this level already. Okay, so now price has given me this. Well, what, 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 what will I do? I'll simply what take my entries from these regions here. But mind you, mind you, like we like we've said from our for very first boot camp, time and price, time and price. Because whatever whatever asset you are trading, time and price is of the essence, right? Okay, getting a BBS, of course, this is a psychological level, all right. And I've got I've gotten that BOS, no problem, but this time like we've said gpusd gbp it's that's 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 great thing all right the london session okay or, or, or also what the new york session but now you can see that we are already into almost into the asian session so you don't want to like i will know that asian sessions are always what those liquidity regions for what for the london and the new york session all right so if by tomorrow london session price has not gotten to this region now price coming to this area now i'll simply what place my sell orders here mm -hmm. place my sell my sell order here having my stop loss above this bad boy okay my take profit at the range here that's what a quick one to 3.5 risking one to get 3.5 
as easy and simple as that. So this is this is actually you can actually take this backtest it backtest it all the way, all the way, all the way, and you see that at least you know that no strategy is hundred percent, but seventy to eighty percent you always what get this. But like I said, it takes what patience. Don't force entries. Make sure you are getting this. Yeah, you're seeing the psychological level. Okay, you're getting that market break of structure, a net break of structure. Like I told you guys, um, I always take my BOS from M15. All my BOS I'm taking was from M15. All right. No, I'm not looking at um, taking my BOS from M5 or M or M, I'm always taking my BOS from what M15. All right. So when we when, when we'll see this, see that psychological level, all right, and we've seen that confluence. Which what is the confluence? Market break of structure at that psychological region then it's okay to what take a quick what one two three from those regions mm -hmm. so any question farms let's go any question and as god we have i think we we had them um, and we just while we were talking about it there was actually a bos at a psychological zone okay evening sir evening farm uh, my question is, uh, hello, coach. Yeah, I'm with you, fam. I'm with you. I'm with you. Hmm? Uh, my question is, this psychological level, can it still be fam. found in MT5 or only in TDV? Ah, uh, it's on TDV, fam. But if you actually want to get that, I think you would want to probably mark it out yourself on, on MT5. Okay, but for this, where you, where you can find it, it's only on trading view. Mm -hmm. Good evening, sir. Evening, farm. Good evening, sir. Yeah, I'm with you, farm. I'm with you. I'm yes, with you. Um, I was looking for this opportunity. Yes, I was looking for this opportunity to ask this question. I don't know. So is today I I got the opportunity. Like is it this uh, this um this is it applicable to synthetic? No, no, sir, no, sir, no, sir. No, sir. You yeah. see, like I said, psychological levels are also called what bank levels. My second question. Yesterday okay. we gave okay. we gave I out. Also my second question. Was... Okay, okay, you can go. Okay. All right, fam. Continue, continue. Yeah. Okay. Um. Like. Okay. I that was a boot camp that your I think is it your last your your first boot camp. I have okay, something fam. said quarter points. Yes. What? So what is that? Something point? like what? Sorry. I don't know. Okay. What okay. You had well, you had quarter points. Quarter points. Like like that. That's 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 the that's the yes. quadrant. Talking about talking about synthetics, right? Okay. Yeah. Those are those are actually quadrants. Just like yes, sir. on synthetics, they are actually those whole numbers because we. We know that um, statistic indices are basically algorithms, but we know that the even though they are even though they are they are the broker's algorithms, they are actually built using what smart money, okay? So, so the knowledge of smart money okay. using the quadrants is what we actually um, transfer to what to the statistic indices. Saying that sometimes when price is giving us, for example, if our POIs actually aligns with a whole number, a round up number on statistic indices. It's, it's, it tends to be like an added confluence for us, all right? But psychological levels, I don't you all, I don't actually use them majorly on state indices because they're just basically algorithms, all right? Uh, uh -huh. oh, okay, sir. Yes, from Thank let's you, go. Sir. Welcome, from Evening, from Yes, evening, from What if uh, we target uh, um, for price to... Feeling this imbalance below this, uh, so um, get here. Is it okay? Sorry, you said what? You said what? Um, like uh, please, our please target. Come, here, come again. We have um, our target here. We have uh, one to three point um, something. So I was yeah. thinking, um, I was actually on this pier. I was targeting to price to fill in this um, imbalance below. You mean here? Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, right. For for a nice buy up for, for, for a buy up, right? Yeah. 
very cool fam very very cool like very cool fam thank you fam yes fam i think you are you are you are, you are already getting it nice fam nice that's nice that's nice that's nice hello good evening good evening fam good evening fam good evening fam, good evening, fam. Uh, yeah this, this trading i'm with you i'm with you trading view. this trading view does it work on handset uh, android yeah definitely yes fam it works it how do i get the android trading view all you have to do is just you go to your play store you get you you get the app the app is on play store trading view okay so, thank you it's on play store fam Good evening. Good, Good evening, fam. Good evening, fam. Good evening, fam. Yeah, I'm with you. Well, sir. Yeah. Well, I just have like two questions. The first okay, is, fam, let's go. This, this, this markup that you do here. Okay. That's us trading, selling from this point to this point of break of structure. Mm -hmm. Then my question, the, what, what I'm just concerned about that this point where you mark. Sorry, I'm asking that question. How do we know what are the reactions that we're going to see for us to take that cell down to this point of 15 minutes? Because okay, um, if we want to follow okay. now to for us to sell, we have to wait for a break of strong up, retest okay. them before we sell down. Yeah. So this markup I'm thinking, I think, is the first sell for us to write it down, take profit, then when it retests, then we sell again. I hope I'm getting you. I'm just trying that. No, just, I'm not like, the let's, 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 let's just throw the rules. Like I said, it's psychological level, first of all, number one. Then mm. at that psychological level, you are getting what? Yeah. A market break of structure. So when you get yeah. that market break of structure at that region, mm. then you are mm. okay to what? To take it. All right? Yes. Yes. Fam. Okay. Okay. But this, what, that, yeah, I understand that. But this market, this markup here, I think mm -hmm. is before the break of structure. That's what you are talking about. Or is, is there a break of structure? There, 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 there's, a, there's a break of structure already. Look at it. This is this is this is, this is higher high here, higher low, mm -hmm. higher high. Market yes. broke structure from here. Okay. Market already broke structure from here, right? Yeah, broke of structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So so now we are waiting for the retest. Uh -huh. Okay, you know, because when you stop the markup here, I was thinking probably you are talking, maybe you are making us to understand that when we get the major level, we can sell. No, 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 Okay, thank you very much. Please, uh, the second you, 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 you ah, want second to refer back to some of the videos on the first boot camp, right? So that okay, you can actually understand some of this, some of these concepts you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. All right, okay. more questions for most more questions, more questions. Uh -huh. What do you yeah. mean, sir? Um, okay. These yes. psychological levels are they on free trading view or premium one? Yeah, you you get it on free trading view, fam. You, you get it on free trading view, fam. You get it. You get it. Okay, okay, sir, okay. you get it. And, get and, it. The, and the previous video, where can we get them? It will be dropped. It will be dropped okay, okay. on the channel. Thank yeah. You, You're welcome, fam. More questions. So I would want us to go back and back test this on. If, for example, you Good trade, day, sir. Although, I've, although I've not tried it on um, on AUD, on other on other assets like maybe AUD card or USDP or other stuffs. This was this basically trade just GU. All right. So you might want to just probably back test them on your own assets and see if you actually if you are getting <clears throat> these things there, okay? Yeah, I've been farm. You didn't say. Yeah, I've been farm I'm with you. Okay, so please help like someone with a hundred dollar account. Yeah. Like, like what risk management do you advise the person to start with? Okay, um, for me, I. Like I always say, I don't risk more than one percent of my account at a, at, a, at a time. Although um, this is not supposed to be in this class, but I'll just probably just um, throw sm a, a small light on that. I don't really, I don't really um, trade um, more than one percent of my account at at, at at a time. I'm just risking one percent of my account on any trade, okay? Because that way, 
I, I don't calculate my monetary profits. I calculate my profits in percentages, right? I'm risking 1% and I'm, get, and I'm getting 30%. I'm risking, two, I'm risking 1% and I'm getting 4 or 5%. That makes sense. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not looking at the dollar, dollar value. All right? What I'm looking at is just the fact that, okay, I, I was risking 1%. I was able to wait. I was able to make 30%. Or probably I, I, I used 1% and I lost 1%. Okay, so on my next trade, if... I'm also risking one percent, and I made three percent. I've covered for my losses. All right, so it's just process, right? You don't want to start risking more than one percent of your account. All right. So, for example, for those that trade proper accounts, you can't be risking more than one percent of your account. If you are risking, if you are risking five percent as stop loss, then that means you've already violated that account. That's why I see that most traders are always violating their proper accounts because you you're just entering the market without knowing the percentage risk you are opening your account to so you what you have to do is know the amount of risk okay and in a week i don't risk more than three percent in a week if for example i i played my first trade one percent i had a, had a loss on my first trade one percent now my second my second trade again one percent that's i'm down two percent now my third my third entry won't be one percent it will be 0 0.5 i will divide that last one percent with what I have 0 0.5, 0.5. So third trade, 0 0.5. First trade, 0 0.5. Then if in a week I'm losing four trades, then I should know that um, I should call it I should call it a week already, right? Because definitely, in most cases, what you're doing is just revenge trading, all right? If big companies, any big, any, any big company, you know, you know the Dow Jones big companies, like let's say we have the Netflix and the rest, or Apple, you are, if they lose 3% in a week, that's, that would be a big hit on them. That, that would be a very big hit on them, all right. So as an individual, you should also trade like you are like an investor, right? If you're trading, risk one percent in a week. I'm risking just three percent, okay? Or probably if in a week I've made fifteen percent or twenty percent. If any of these firms makes fifteen percent in a week, that's massive. That's in fact they might they might close for the next two months, all right? So making yes, um, a good amount of um, money like ten percent, fifteen percent, that's okay. At least you should close. This, you should close your shop for the week mm -hmm. okay. thank you sir you're welcome fam let's go let's go more questions hit me with more questions farms mm -hmm. um, coach, one, coach yes fam yes fam yeah you discussed about you discussed about um the asian section and the new york section and the london section mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. and we all, we all understand that the Asian sections are based on liquidity mm -hmm. and are you actually saying that before we before we take a trade at least a normal trader should be up at least six o'clock a.m in the morning and mm -hmm. make his mark wait for you mean the, up, no, the it, it depends on which session you are trading you understand for example yes, you see traders some some traders prefer the asian session right i i, I know i know of some i know of some mentors that trade just the asian session because what they only trade is just the GG, all right? Someone like um, Savage, he trades just GG, and mo in most times he trades the Asian session, all right? I mean, and sometimes London, New York, during the New York session, you won't, see, you won't see them trading, all right? It depends on the asset you are trading at that particular time. Now, GU, definitely GU, it's um, basically GBP and US dollar, which is London and what? The US session and the New York session, all right? So definitely, this you find more volume in the market during the London session and what during the um New York session. So if you are having if you are any any trade any volume or any liquidity you're getting during the Asian session is simply just they are just they are simply um liquidities for those um London guys and New York guys to what to quickly grab. Okay, because to them those guys are just basically retailers. All right. So Asian sessions for, for, for if for example you are trading GG, we found out, we found that during the session GG is the, it moves fast like during the session it moves fast. Also UJ or um, maybe AJ and the rest. That's because you know JPY is an Asian asset, all right. Yeah. So definitely during that time you you find good movements too. So some people try to trade that time and also they trade during the London session because we have the GBP London. JPY Asian, all right. But for assets like GU, 
right? USD card, Euro USD, stuff like that. Okay. Any okay, so. volume you are getting during the Asian session is a liquidity for the London okay. and New York session. So that's just how simple it is. So on on this on this GBP GBP USD, what mm -hmm. is the the impact of the um, asset correlation? That's um, dollar dollar. I think USD index. The, that's that, that's the that's the DXY. All right. Just yes. just 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 like just like we, we mentioned during our first boot camp. Um, when the DXY is um, buying, right? The GU should be selling or right, GU EU AU and um, AU should be selling right just like just just like that vice versa now you see yeah. in any buys yesterday I was talking about um tra traders greed now we have we have our range if for example um price during the launch of tomorrow with um probably retreats from here all the way to its upside now our range is from here to what to this region so it, yes. it wouldn't make sense for me to be dragging my take profit all the way down to this. That's, that's already violating the range. That's violating mm -hmm. what the range of yeah. what of that of this particular asset. You understand what I'm trading, all right? So I can't be I can't be looking at um, taking take profit from an outer range, which is different from the range I'm currently what trading, all right? Yeah. So, but for the Asian, if for example price comes to this region during the Asian session, then I'm not looking to take it because I know that that volume is creating in the market is definitely towards liquidity when the London boys comes to office, right? Yeah. So you, just like you see, you are seeing G now, it's moving sluggishly, right? But tomorrow morning, when it's, when it's 8 a.m., when it's 8 a.m., you see, you start seeing explosive movements because these bad boys are already what? Are, are already in the office and Come they are in. putting enough volume into the market, all right? Yeah, thank you, sir. You're welcome, fam. I need more questions. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Evening, fam. Yeah, please, uh, can you recap for me again? Recap. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll do that, ma'am. I'll do that. I'll do that. All right, so like I was saying, you see, this is actually a very basic strategy, very, very basic strategy to, to, to profit in the Forex market. All right. And like, like I said, um, we, the two basic conferences we are looking for is psychological levels and, um, and market change of character. All right. So we know that these levels are actually, these psychological levels are key levels. They are bank levels, levels where you definitely get that reaction or reversals. Okay. So, now, but we don't want to trade this, even though we know that they actually bank, they actually bank levels where price might reverse or react from. We don't want to trade it in isolation, okay? Because if, for example, I'm trading this bad boy, now I don't know where I'll put my stop loss. If, for example, I don't even know that, okay, um, I have to wait for market breakout structure. If I just see price coming to this region, now let's say look at this week for some retailers, those retailers now. Probably when price came to this region, you see, they, you know, they call this candle a pin bar. Right, and we we don't trade those um, we don't trade calcium patterns here. So somebody seeing this pin bar forming at this psychological level might have placed a sell already. But what happened? You see, like you'll be taken out already. Okay, but we don't also trade those kind of stuff. Not trade this um, psychological levels in isolation. So we are smart traders. We say, okay, if that's the case, why not wait for a change of character at those regions? Okay, so that's why that's why we come about what market break of structure. So price comes to that region any psychological region get a bos all right so you are placing what your trade at the retest of what of the break of structure just like we just like we normally do all right so for example now this is a psychological level because these psychological levels are actually round up numbers round up numbers here you are seeing 1. 1.2000 1.190000 1.180 1 like just like that round up numbers all right so and at this region at this round up number here we are already seeing what a market what break of structure higher high higher low higher high market broke structure here right so we are waiting for what for that retest back to what back to this region to what to sell this bad boy and like i said from our very first boot camp we talked about time and price if you're trading some if you're trading this guy make sure 
you are actually um, not trading the wrong time of the at the wrong time of the market. You can't be looking for this setup during the Asian session. Okay, you should, at, you should be looking for this kind of setup during the London session or what during the what New York session. As simple and easy as that. More questions, farms. More questions. More questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, good evening, Coach. Evening, farm. Uh, you were talking about the uh, London session and Asia session. So, which of the time can we use for this uh, particular session? I mean, the differences. The London session starts Either in the morning or in the evening. It am it am in the morning. It am it am. That's when you get the London session from. It am in the morning. That's when you get the London session. Okay. Then um, the new session starts. Um, I think it begins at one thirty. Yeah, it, I think the stock, the, the what? stock market, um, one one thirty, one thirty p.m. Okay. Yeah, and I think the, the stock Which market one? opens two thirty, two thirty p.m. Okay. Thank you. Sir. You're confirmed. More I questions. That one that... Hmm. No, I I wasn't around during the previous recent lectures. I okay, the, 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 the videos the videos will be dropped. They will be dropped from. Okay. What about the New York session and the Asian? Which time do they start and which time do they end? I think the Asian is um eleven. I think Asian is eleven, right? Asian Asian is eleven. Although I don't, I don't, I don't read Asian. Asian starts by eleven um is it AM now PM eleven eleven PM, yeah, eleven PM. Asian is eleven PM, then London, eight AM, New York. One thirty. London. Good right, you, you can Google them on. You can just you can Google the time. Okay. Uh, hello, coach. Yes, fam. Uh, you are talking about this uh, this London sessions and the Asia session. Is it only applicable for currency or both currency as it is? No, sorry, static indices does not have sessions. Please. There's no sessions on static indices. Yeah, I think the, 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 only, the only news that affects static indices is when the is doing maintenance. <laughs> when the is doing maintenance, I think that, that, that's the only news that affects static indices. When the is doing maintenance, sometimes you find out that probably your 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 charts are acting up. Probably like kind of hooked up sometimes. Just sometimes when they are doing maintenance. So that's the only thing that affects static indices. Any other thing? No news, nothing at all. And there is no correlation between any currency pair and static indices because sometimes you see you see guys you see some guys saying um maybe V seventy five has um has a correlation with US five hundred. That is um US five hundred that's the as indices now or or the Dow Jones. I think the reason why somebody somebody might have um come up come up with that kind of idea is because um I think this one mentor that said that, that uh, US 30 is, um, is correlating with V75. I think the reason why he just brought up the idea was because, you know, indices, they are basically bullish. Like, they are very, they're always very bullish. Like, when you get to the chart, you see that right from time, it's been bullish. And also V75, right from time, they've been bullish. Right from time, right from the session of V75, it, it's been bullish, like creating highs, 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 and just like that. So I think that's the reason why that guy might just come up with that. But... Let me put it to you. Those, those, the the um, static indices are basically algorithms. Don't get it twisted. They are not correlated with any currency pair or any stock or crypto market at all. No. Uh, Let's go. More questions. Do, sir, do market matter? Threat indices. Yes, Yes, fam. Do Hello? Big banks, big banks, stress synthetic indices. Do banks trade synthetic indices? No, yes, sir. no, sir. Banks do not trade synthetic indices. Please, the banks. Okay. What will, I know some people say um, banks trade synthetic indices. No, the banks do not trade synthetic indices. You only have um, sophisticated traders. That is traders with huge volumes because you can you can some some persons might probably have um, um maybe. One million dollars account on static indices. 
okay, or probably $2 million or $5 million from Celtic Kinesis. Okay, those are actually the big boys of Celtic Kinesis, but banks, no, they don't. In fact, some banks, <laughs> some banks, the volumes, the volume they have, Celtic Kinesis cannot, cannot even handle it. For example, the City Citibank or let, 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 let me go to, to JP Morgan. Let's just put it as Citibank. The volume those guys have, Celtic Kinesis cannot, they can't. Because one lot, if they if they come in into into state cases, they will, they will, they will start to they will move price to what to wherever they want to move price to. You understand? They they can because you know, just for for B seventy five, you see ten thousand um lot on this on B seventy five is capable of what is of moving B seventy five to any direction that lot wants. I think I so I once saw that from um the statistics. Let's say for example I open a ten thousand lot on V seventy or Mr. seventy five. It's it's capable of what pushing price to the particular direction we want. Let's say so all of us here on, on VTN um, channel, all right, we want to um probably move V seventy five to our direction. We have that large equity. Okay, Mr. A, let's say place place one lot, one lot. And Mr. B one lot all the way to maybe we are now we now amount to ten thousand lot, all right. At, at that particular point, we can push V seventy five to the direction we want at that particular time. Okay, so because ten thousand lot can push price on V seventy five by what by a single point. Okay, so it's just you know it's all about volume. It's all about the volume. Because market moves into what the volumes, you understand. So banks do not trade synthetic indices. They don't. Don't get dumb, 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 dumb. So that is to say, uh, synthetic indices can be manipulated or what? Manip like how? Manipulated, I don't understand. You see, like we all know that there are algorithms, there are brokers' algorithms, all right? But they are okay. built using what the smart money principle all right so setting is it's not being manipulated it's no manipulation all right can you sometimes when, when you see currents you see um you see they, i have this friend that always says static is being manipulated but he says the first market is not manipulated sometimes you see like to like 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 today while we're trading the stock market open okay on us 30 and us 500 myself with some traders we Actually, had we had we had that BOS on 15 minutes time frame, all right. But what happened? We saw that that week out, price went all the way to what week out the the high of that M15 break of structure, all right. But, so, or if that happens on in the rig now, people will call it manipulation. But it happens on currency. It happens in the first market now. It's not manipulation. So those are just simply price doing what price does. So it's not. It's never manipulation. Derive, um, saying this is they don't manipulate, it's just simply price doing what price does best, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, sir. yes, fam, yes, fam, yeah, coach, who concern? Uh, okay, fam, let's go. Yeah, I think we, we have explained more of um psychological lines now. Let's assume we are actually see we have our psychological line on our chat and. We actually go to the four hours. Like let's let's try and back test from the four hours down to the break of structure on fifteen, and we actually understand how it correlates with the price movement. Sir. Okay, you see, when is when a strategy is being um, brought out, following the rules is as simple as following the rules is just simple. Okay, like I said. The basic rule for this is simply looking out for that 15 minutes break of structure at your psychological level and placing your trades on that what break of structure using that present range. In that was present range. So probably you see, probably if we go to H4 now or probably a hard time frame, you see that prob um, these guys. Might be at um, at uh, a structural point, right? A structural point. Let's let's see. Let's example we'll go higher. Let's say two hours or four. Let's let's go two hours, for example. 
okay you will see that you see price is actually at um like at a very cool region for distribution isn't it but actually at a cool region for for distribution all right so but when you are getting not always you will get this break of structure on any time frame right when you get you can see price price might just walk through a psychological level like it, it should just like bust through that psychological level without even giving you any reaction or probably giving you a break of structure so the rule is when you are getting a market break of structure at a psychological level that's the rule the i think the problem we are always having is trying to um maybe um make the rule suit our or maybe just suit our own taste maybe due to greed or something like that but the rule states that at a psychological level which we know is a key level a bank level if we are getting a market reaction or market break of structure on m15 you can take entries at that region as simple and easy as that this region here is a psychological level but price just went through it price in price although price gave that um you see the thing is when we when we teach smart money you see most smart traders don't understand the concepts of smart money most smart traders don't don't understand the concept of smart money you just hear um bank and um, the bank cubes or that's that's, that's that's the sm cube smart money cube or you hear imbalances or kops or king order blocks but you don't understand why those guys are being printed now let me quickly say this all those smart money checklists especially the sm cube or probably the kobs and the imbalances those regions you are seeing they actually those are actually bank regions and those bank those it doesn't mean that um this bank is waiting to buy there no that bank has an or they have an order there now you see this smq you are seeing here a bank tried to what to sell to sell from here but it failed you see from the retailers point of view they will call this what an ftr that failed to return okay now but actually a bank tried to sell from here and failed when they say the banks are because i smile i smile sometimes when i see people saying um don't let banks to use you to to use you do uh, liquidity or no 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 go do the bank no go use you do all kinds of stuff like that you see the same stuff like that maybe majorly nigerian trainers that just lend smart money now i want to put it to you that the banks don't have any problem they don't, they don't have any, anything to any business with you if they combine all our lots like no, I don't think anybody here uses um, 1,000 lot on any currency pay. Nobody. I don't think there's anybody here that uses 1,000 lot or probably um, 10,000 lot. Not even, not even talk of, not talk of 2,000, 2,000 lots on currency pays. If they combine all our lot sizes that we use, or that all of us have used today, I don't think it will amount to um, 1,000 lots on currencies. All the 400 traders here currently. You don't combine our lots today don't think you to, to amount to 1000 lots on currencies now why do you think the banks then why why do you think banks needs that volume they don't need that volume it's too small it's too small for them these banks are actually out for themselves you see these smart money guys they're actually out for themselves because when a bank let's take for example city bank came in with um a volume of let's say 300,000 lots here. You try to push price back down to sell. Now, JP Morgan enters the market with 500,000 lots, a volume which is higher than this volume that Citibank have placed here. What do you think will happen? Price will definitely what move in the opposite direction of Citibank. So these guys are not out for them. These banks are not out for also probably it's just that we were just caught up in the fight between um two lions all right okay maybe um we are seeing two big animals fighting 
but we are just in, at the wrong side okay just at the wrong side but these guys you they don't need your they don't need your volume it's too small like it's is i don't know i don't know the word they don't know the word to use Insig it's very very insignificant like they don't need it it's very insignificant you understand so don't let's not have that mindset that we are the liquid we are not the liquidity the banks themselves are the liquidity all right mm -hmm. so when price got to this region now this is psychological level a key level so that bank tried to sell, sell, sell from there but it failed that's also why you have that smq printed there as what as a banker zone that, 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 that that's a banker zone now price got to this psychological level now and it's now giving us what that because mind you if you're looking at this region this region is also what is also a structural point before price broke through it right yeah lower high lower low lower high lower low so it's expected that price should give us a, a reaction from here but what happened when price got to this psychological level it what it just bust through psychological level going all the way now it's coming to what another what another structural point and at that social point guess what is psychological level so psychological level get to that region when you get to that region look out for what that market what break of structure and you'll be okay fam that's that's as, as it's as simple as that let's not try to complicate things right not gonna not just go out there start making things too um, sophisticated just because you want things to be hard for for proper probably traders or something like that and that'll be the you're not making profits after all the beautification of charts i think the sole aim of trading is making profits right mm -hmm. you can't make your charts beautiful and the day you're not making anything from me so you just let's keep keep things simple keep it basic mm -hmm. hello sir Yes, fam. Yeah, something actually happened today. Okay, fam. To me on on EU. EU, okay. I got a fifteen. Yeah, I got a fifteen minutes break of break of structure, break of structure. Okay. Yeah. And it still buy up more. What's <laughs> that Yeah. That's you know for if on you. <laughs> Actually, set limits and it eat me out. I was like, "Get to the place." <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so sometimes it happens like that. Sometimes it happens. It happens. That's simply market just doing what market does. Probably maybe that MP, that year, fifteen minutes break of structure was, actually was um an Asian liquidity. Very possible. It's very actually. It's At very the end of the day, I just look. Probably is not. It has not getting to the. The POI they want to play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah. So it's just you move can, up a can, bit. You can refer back to the videos on our Facebook camera. We talked about inducements also. In, inducements. Price okay, trying sir. to what induce early sellers into the market. Inducement or they, market stimulation. They induce me. <laughs> but the good thing is that they cut less than one dollar. They cut less than one dollar. Yeah. Because I don't oh, risk wow. much. Yeah, that's that's it, fam. That's it, fam. So at least you can stay longer in the market. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I don't want that exactly. now. <laughs> don't be lying. <laughs> All right, fabs, ladies, I need questions. Questions, questions, questions. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, fam. Uh, those videos you are talking about, uh, I guess they are not available on the channel. They are. They are. You can actually, you can, you can scroll all the way up to get the videos. The first good come videos. You can scroll all the way up to get yeah. All right, so farms. Um, I guess that will be that for today, and um, tomorrow, like I said, we'll be having FT Ninja CEO with us tomorrow morning. So currently, we already have um, um, an FT Ninja customer relation um officer on this channel already. Okay, so tomorrow by 10, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. farms, 10 a.m. We'll be having the CEO with us to give us so we would like, we'll like to speak with them. Yeah, yeah. So we'll like to um, speak with be, them because all right. They'll be here. Yeah, this thing is here. not good. We don't like it. No, 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 farm. Please don't see that farm. Um when they come tomorrow, you ask questions. All right. You see, basically I I trade with them. I trade with them. I trade with FT Ninja. I trade with them. 
All right. And you try with that, you pass the administration. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely, fam. Yeah. I think I think I shared. Some of us see them as scam. I must tell you the truth. No, 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 no. They are not. They because are not. Pastor, they are, no, their no. rule is like their rule is not is not the normal rules. So you know, they, are, they are afraid of taking it. Too. And for me, I like to be factual. I don't hide. Some people will not go straight. I like to talk factual. No, 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 no problem. Fam. So tomorrow, um, you see, the thing is, we actually have traders from BTN taking FC Ninja accounts, and they are doing well. And they actually we've actually been paid out, right? Like they. They've paid us out the talent bonus and even on the ASO account. So, so if if they are if they are actually not legit, they won't have actually paid out those traders. It's just, so tomorrow, I think what some of some of us don't understand is their <clears throat> um, their rules, right? And their rules is very very that is very very okay because you won't get any problem that will give you um, that lengthy month, that lengthy days like thirty like um, three months. That's ninety days. To trade and not 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 just that it's not as if after that three months you probably have violated anything you still have more than three months six months nine months to trade just a single account all right and at the, at the same time you get getting you are getting paid during your challenge that is the talent bonus so those rules are what some of us don't understand but tomorrow they will demystify those rules for us and um, I think it's just basically the drawdowns and um, the consistency rules so by by the grace of god tomorrow 10 a.m i want everybody everybody let's have everybody with us here so you guys can ask questions um um and f probably for the guy that said he actually didn't i think somebody came to me and said um he Misplay. I don't know. I think I forgot. But please, tomorrow, let's just be here. Let's be here tomorrow. Let's be here tomorrow. So they'll be with us. The CEO will be with us tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, sir. Yes, from. Do you, do you wait for fundamentals before looking at your dollar index as a bet for placing a trade? Ah, uh, yeah. Um, you see, fundamentals, yeah, fundamentals, sometimes, especially NFP. I don't I don't trade I don't trade during, during during the news. I don't trade during the news. I think I said that during the Facebook camp. When it's news, I don't trade. I stay out. I stay out during the news. Okay. Don't trade in the news. Okay. I'm I'm a small trader. I don't want to get into the fight of, of lions, so I stay out. When they are done, I simply follow the winner. Mm -hmm. As easy as that. Let's go for some more questions. Yeah, coach, quick one, sir. Yes, fam. Um, based on the news, based on the news, mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. what time does the news take place, and how many minutes should we wait before before we actually okay, like the news is done, and at uh, what time should coach, we take please, our Coach, uh, please, can you throw more light on this sense uh, psychology? Logical levels. Okay, no problem, fam. I'll do a recap before the end of the class. I'll do a recap. So, um, to, ask, to answer your question, um, the other, the other boss that um, asked the question on news. See, when you want to get news, um, you can actually find um, Forest Factory or um, what does this guy called again? Forest Factory, actually. You can actually get the news, the time for the news, using um, going to the website forexpatrick.com. Okay, you see the daily news there. The time when the news will come out, you see everything there. All right, and um, during the news, after the out during during the news, you market will always give you that um, that explosive moves. Okay, and after um, the results are out, probably the actual and the forecast. When when they are, when the, when when the forecast is out, then. Um, when the actual is out, sorry, then you can actually um, expect more ex explosiveness in the charts. Okay, so it's just uh, as a smart trader trading during the news. I'm not saying it's bad, but um, you at that point in time, fundamentals have that edge over technicals because fundamentals can rob your technical at any given point in time. Because let's take for example. Uh, I have, um, I'm feeling soft now, soft, 
like commodity salt. I'm trading salt, okay? And I am a very big shareholder in salt, very big shareholder. Now, this news is not, it's not actually as if um, uh, somebody, somebody is coming and um, saying out the okay, news, this is what this is. What, no, no, no. The banks are the news. The news are the banks. All right? So, for example, if I'm coming out now as a salt, maybe I have the um, greater shareholder in salt, okay? And I was a greater shareholder in salt. And um, maybe some guys have actually placed so much volume, okay? And they want to, they want to buy salt, okay? Then what I do is, as a very big shareholder, I say, okay, um, young man, on this chart, put social volume here. Just like we saw how Elon Musk did to BTC, understand? Okay, young man, put this certain amount of volume here. So those those guys, those technicals that are looking to buy that region, that my volume will drive market past that their region. So during that during that time, during that news, it's advisable for smart traders to stay out. Let them do what they want to, want to do. Then when they are done, we now come in as technical traders, analyze the charts, and go in again. All right. So basically, you see, you see some people trading news like in isolation, and all the day they are they are all they are all burnt out. All right. I think I shared the story um, <laughs> with you guys the last time where I was trading NFP, and I was born I was born seriously. That was that was back in the days. All right. But now we've known better. So trading news it's not actually advisable for a smart trader. Okay, okay, so um, a quick recap on what we just said. Like I said, psychological levels, uh, those key levels where you get that market reactions or market reversals, they are actually key levels or as some people call it, bank levels. All right? So these are regions where price will definitely give a reaction or what give that um, reversals. All right? So now, we don't just, do we just trade psychological levels in isolation? No. As smart traders, we want to see price give us um, a market break of structure at those regions, at those levels, as an additional confluence for us, all right? So going to, like, on M15, while we were, while we were saying this, we saw, uh, we, had, we had a very nice example here. See, psychological levels, like I said, they are round-up numbers. They are round-up numbers, okay, on your charts. Like here, and I, and I actually said an indicator which you can use to what to automatically get those psychological levels without getting them manually, okay? And we and like I said, it's, you can see it here. You can actually take a screenshot now and see the name of the indicator. Psych levels at Lucky Nikva. Okay, you can see. You can take a screenshot now. Okay. All right. So now indicators will actually pull out these levels for you automatically. Mm -hmm. So you can see the levels now, 1.2, 1,000, 1.2, 3,000, right? 1.19000, just like that. So when, now when price gets to this region, you see, it's not, it's not always when price gets to this region you are, you are buying or you are selling. You can see from this region, when price price got to this, price was buying, got to this region, we never had that market break of structure. No, we didn't. All right? So price just busted all through the way from here keeps going all the way up, all the, all the way up. Now, price goes to this, uh, this psychological level again and give us what? That market break of structure. All right? So now, what we are expecting is price coming to this region, feel this imbalance and giving us what? A nice, a nice sell-off. A nice what? Sell-off. So, if by tomorrow, long session, price are not going to this region, price coming to this region, I'm taking a sell from here with my stop loss here and my TP at this region. Quickly. If we work for a quick one to three, one percent getting three percent easy, easy. Mm -hmm. So that's that for that. Farms. That's just a quick recap on okay. um, on those bad boys. Uh, but in this case, you didn't make mention of any higher time frame. No, no, farm. I didn't. Okay, we focus basically on this fifteen minutes. Yes, farm. Another yes, question. Of, of trend direction on the higher time frame. Yes, one. 
You see, it's if, for example, we're having bullishness on higher time frames, definitely we'll get little sales. It will remove the buys and what little sales, definitely. And sometimes you may not see those um, bearishness on the higher time frame, but on lower time frames you see that re that reversal, those three retracements, those bearishness will be there. All right. Awesome. So on your own, so farms on your own, you can actually take a back test, like take a back test all through all through the charts, maybe for the past two months, three months, four months for yourself, and see maybe you can just get your biro and a pen. You sort of get your biro and your paper. You jot. You see how many wins you that you have gotten or how many losses you have gotten from. It. Then if probably like your number of wins is like seventy to thirty, then that's 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 cool, right? So your own back, do a back test. Not just when someone drops something, then you are you are you are already trying to play it on your life account. So it's best to watch, maybe try on demo for a few days and see or just do a back test. All right. So farms, um, that'll be all for tonight. So I'll see you guys again tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Very compulsory class. Like I said, we'll be having the CEO of FC Ninja joining us. To give to give us um, a quick brief of um, FC Ninja and um, their rules, and also we'll be having a question and answer session with us briefly. All right. So, um, in the absence of no other questions, see you guys tomorrow morning. Do enjoy the rest of the night, farms. Good night. Good, Good night, sir. Good night, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.